What's up my people, it's your boy Clean Car Chris. Welcome back to the channel where you already know, sir. All about car detailing with nothing but good vibes. So listen, I've been getting a few questions about my setup, what I use, how do I go mobile, stuff like that. So I decided to do a different type of video today and show you my detail setup. All right, guys, the vehicle I use is my personal vehicle, a Toyota Tacoma X-Runner, 2012 to be exact. Check it out. You can see I have all my equipment fitting nice, neatly in here. So when I was first getting started, I didn't have the funds to actually go ahead and buy a van or anything like that to do like, you know, the typical setups you might see in certain panel vans, cargo vans, little transit vehicles and all that. So I decided to set up my pickup truck the best way I could and I'm actually pro very proud of it it's very efficient and very simple over here we can start with my 55 gallon water tank I have this on top of a pallet you can see right here I got a standard pallet but I cut it to the right dimension so the water tank can fit on top of it that's just to give it you know a little height so we can have the gravity feeding down here through the tube Comes right here to a water filter I got. I just purchased it at Home Depot, I believe. And it runs through my Flexzilla hose. And the water runs straight to my Kranzel. This is probably my favorite piece of equipment right here, guys. It's a K1622 total stop, meaning when you pull the trigger, the water will spray. But once you let it go, the motor will stop. So it provides, you know, more efficiency, less noise. But this machine is actually an absolute beast. You know, I decided since I didn't splurge too much on the funds to actually purchase a van, I decided to splurge a little bit extra and get me a good trusty pressure washer that I can definitely rely on. Over here, this is basically the heart of the whole setup. Runs everything. Champion, 4,500 inverter. This is gas operated. You just pull her right here, crank her up, and it will run the Kranzel, which is electric. Just plug her in right here. It will run anything electrical. With that being said, I have my rigid 200 PSI, 4.5 gallon air compressor, which is perfect for running any air tool. As you can see right here, I come down to my reels. This is a DeWalt reel. I actually bought this, I believe on Amazon. It came just like this. The hose was mounted on the reel already. So my air tool, my Vortex. And then I actually bought this online. I can't remember where too. It's actually a MTM reel, 50 foot hose. Came like this too, the hose mounted on the reel. And then my third and final reel I have here is an electrical reel. I have three wheels, electrical, air hose, and this is the water. When I first started, I had the basic setup, but I had no reels. I would have the hoses just wrapped up and I threw them in the back of the truck. Didn't look that neat, didn't look that professional. So when I decided to go ahead and get the reels, I was like, you know, I need something to bolt the reels onto. I didn't want to bolt the reels onto the actual bed of the truck because then I could never really move them, you know what I mean? So I went down to the local Home Depot Got a piece of plywood, took a few measurements, had them cut it to the right dimensions to fit the back of the vehicle. And then what I did, as you can see here, I bolted the reels down onto the plywood. Um, and also, just for extra safety, I bolted these down. I got some straps so I can strap down the Kranzel. I got one more strap here that I, you know, some extra safety measures taken here bolted them into the bed so I can strap the water tank down also. I have my buckets right here guys. You know I just go like that. Boom. Got my three buckets. Bam. And here I keep you know IK sprayer, foam cannon, 
Anything else I kind of throw in the bucket here? A couple, you know, tire brushes and whatnot. Can also fit there. And I have one more tool back here I can show you, which is a blower. Nothing fancy, guys. Just a regular leaf blower. It's electrical also. So basically, it's an electrical setup. The only thing that is gas operated is a generator. Um, I have the total stop on the pressure washer, so I was very conscious of having something that's a simple setup but very efficient and not doesn't make too much noise. So the only thing running at any given time is the generator. It's always running. This will chip in and chip out, and so will the pressure washer. You know, when you go to certain business places or neighborhoods, you don't want to be causing too much of a ruckus. So it's, you know, pretty good with the noise. This is where I keep my vacuum. So when I'm ready to hit the interiors, I just pull it out, connect the hose, and I'm good to go. It's actually a rigid four gallon portable vac. Works great. Also, I have, you know, a tarp here. You know, it's down here in Florida, you can encounter rain at any given, given moment. So we don't know if it starts raining, we can just throw the tarp on to protect all my equipment. And on this side, you know, I got, you know, fire extinguisher, just in case of anything, a couple of chemicals here. I have my little case right here. I keep you know my detail guards a couple tools in here in here i got you know a couple attachments for the, the drill gun keep my drill down here and all my towels you know are in here interior towels window towels up here i usually keep my like, my wash mitts wash pads whatever drying towels um i have my caddy that carries all my soaps chemicals detail brushes you know that's it, we just keep it simple, but we have all the right tools to do any detail efficiently and the right way. Yes, my people, that's a wrap on the setup. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys find it very informative. I hope it inspires somebody out there to organize their setup, especially if you have a pickup truck. If you don't know, with all this said, all the tools and products I typically use will be linked in the description below. So you can just head on down there, click the link, shoot you on over to Amazon, and you can get your stuff right there. So you don't know, guys, Appreciate you for watching. Every Wednesday, 4 p.m., brand new video. Like, subscribe, share up the thing. Team Car Chris said that.